Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayek Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say with hearts of praise and gratitude, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is August the 12th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is one a day for the soul. Now, before we read our text, I want to alert you to the fact that this message this morning is going to be very frank. It's going to be very specific, but it comes from a heart of love. You see, this entire ministry is based around the idea of many who call themselves Christians and yet they do not know the Lord. More specifically, the Lord does not know them. In Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 through 23, that's exactly what Jesus says. You've done all these good things in my name. You've even performed supernatural, miraculous works, but I never knew you. And friends, that should come as a frank warning in our lives. We should look very closely at ourselves to see whether we know the Lord. And it's not dependent upon how much we read our Bibles. It's not dependent upon how much we go to church. It's not dependent upon how much we pray, how many things that we've forsaken in our lives, how many things that we've given up. It's based upon one thing and one thing alone. And that's where our text comes from this morning. John chapter 3, verse 3, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Now, friends, being born again has nothing to do with turning over a new leaf, deciding to live a righteous life, because that's no different than living a religious life. Jesus is saying here, we must be born again. What does that mean? Turn to Ezekiel. And in chapter 36 and verse 26, we read, A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you. And cause you to walk in my statutes, and you shall keep my judgments and do them. So Yahweh is telling us here that he is going to take our spirit out of us, that selfish, evil, self-satisfying, self-fulfilling spirit that once was in us and that even now may be in us. He will remove that spirit and he will put in place of it his spirit. Now, I told you it was dependent upon one thing, and that is starting to hint at what the one thing is. You see, in Romans chapter 8 and verse 9, we are told, If any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. If you do not have the same Spirit that possessed the Lord Jesus Christ when he walked this earth, you do not belong to him. And again, I say that this message is frank, but it comes from a heart of love and within it is enveloped much warning. Look carefully at yourself, friend. Do you have the spirit of the living Christ in your life? Well, let's think about this more closely. Exactly what does that mean? It means if you have a spirit of bitterness that possesses you, you do not belong to Jesus. If you have a spirit of anger that controls you, you do not belong to Jesus. If you have a spirit of prejudice in the way that you look at others, other races, other nationalities, other colors, and even those who make choices that contradict the word of God, if you look at them with anything other than love, you do not belong to the Lord Jesus. If you have a spirit of envy and jealousy, you do not belong to the Lord Jesus. You see, this requires self-examination, friends, and these aren't my words. This is straight out of the King James Version Bible, Romans chapter 8, verse 8. If any man does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. You can pretend to be whatever you want in front of others, but what is in your soul? What is in your heart? What spirit possesses you? What spirit controls you? God has promised that the moment that we are born again, he removes our old spirit 
and he places his spirit within us. That's what 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 is all about. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things are dead, passed away. They no longer exist. Behold, all things are become new. So according to the word of God, you may have an alcohol addiction, but if you have the spirit of Christ in your life of love, joy, peace, gentleness, goodness, kindness, meekness, long-suffering, if this is the spirit that possesses you, you belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not what goes into a man that defiles a man. It's what comes out of a man that defiles a man. You may have a tobacco addiction, but as long as you have the spirit of Christ, you belong to him. You may have a food addiction or a TV addiction or a social media addiction or a drug addiction. But according to the word of God, if you have the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, you belong to him. That's the first thing that takes place in your life. The other things will take care of themselves. The spirit of the living God will convict you about those things and you'll take them to the father and you'll seek his help in delivering you from them. And I think that's what's so confusing to so many people. Here's an alcoholic. Here's a homeless person. Here's a drug addict. And yet they have more love in their lives than those who go to church. And yet they're full of bitterness, anger, envy, and jealousy, prejudice, ridicule. And the person on the outside is standing back saying, if that's Christianity, I don't want anything to do with it. And although they may not know a Bible verse to point to, they know that there's something wrong. They know that he who calls himself a Christian gives no evidence of it. And yet this man who doesn't call himself a Christian and is bound with things in this life that most of us are delivered from, he has more love in his life, more gentleness in his life, more caring in his life for others than people who sit on the pew and have spent their entire lives in churches. And that's why Jesus says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, unless you have been born again, you will never enter into the kingdom of heaven. So friends, the question we must ask ourselves, not looking at the outside of the cup, to use biblical language that Jesus used, but to look at the inner man. Who are you really? Are you frustrated with yourself because there's certain things on the outside that aren't clean, but on the inside, you know that you're at peace with Christ? Well, friends, you are in a better state than most of the people I know who call themselves Christians, who look so good on the outside, just as the Pharisees did. But as Jesus said, they're full of dead men's bones on the inside. If that's you this morning, friend, Fall on your face in brokenness before the Lord God and ask him to exchange your spirit for his because he has promised whatsoever thing you ask in his name according to his purpose and his will, he will provide for you. And his utmost desire is to free you from spirits of anger, jealousy, envy, prejudice, hate, bitterness, unforgiveness, and to give his spirit to you, to plant his spirit within you. So now you become an example of a little Jesus walking on earth, delivering his message to all those who so desperately need it. Well, I love you, friends. I'm so grateful again that you are here with us. And I truly pray that the word of God is having an impact in your life and changing you into the man, woman, boy or girl that he designed and created you to be. Now, as he wills, and until next time, friends, I love you. I truly love you. That's why I'm telling you the truth. I love you. I'll see you on the next video.